IPTV Rosalind Lester. I'm Hector Galliano. I'm Aiden Rain. I'm PTV's Charlie Hart. I'm EO Gifford. Welcome back to this week's PTV show. Today is Thursday, April 29th, 2021. I'm PTV's Tyler Ritchie. After high schools across the country and right here in Michiana had to cancel prom last year due to COVID-19, prom 2021 is back on schedule for Plymouth High School. Today and tomorrow are the last days to buy tickets for $25. Juniors and seniors can still purchase tickets from door one during lunch. We caught up with Mrs. Edmiston, the prom sponsor, to hear about the last minute preparations going on to make prom special. Well, we're in the home stretch right now and we are getting things together. We're going to start setting up tents um, Friday, Saturday and getting everything that we need to. Uh, looks like that um, hopefully the weather holds off. I will have some heaters out there just in case it gets a little cold um, and I have a few surprises lined up as far as some things for food. Um, prizes, different things like that that we're going to have going on there. And uh, this week we're also voting for those to be on the ballot for Prince, Princess, and uh, Queen and King. As many PHS juniors and seniors are awaiting this year's prom at the Rock Pile, we caught up with some upperclassmen to see what some of you have planned going into this final chapter of the school year. Um, I decided that I was motivated to go to prom this year because I plan on going with some friends last year and I was able to ask them and go with them this year. Um, I'm going with a good friend of mine and we're going out to eat and then just going to prom to have a good time. I am, I'm going to be going with a group of friends so it's going to be, it's a junior prom so it should be fun. We're going to make it, we're going to make it one of those nights to remember. Basically, I'm just going to go out with some friends. We're going to go to some place kind of local and then we're just going to come here and hang out and have fun. I'm really excited to see what the venue looks like just because it's totally different from what they have done in the past. My thoughts on prom being held outside in the rock pile is it's going to be a little weird um, just because it's uh, such a small space. So I don't know how we're going to work that out. All eyes are on the forecast. Currently, the National Weather Service is predicting mostly sunny conditions this Saturday with a high near 70. Saturday night is expected to be mostly clear with a low around 53. Mother's Day will be here before you know it and the life skills class is busy preparing for the big day. Tammy Radican's students are looking forward to watching the seeds they planted earlier this year come to life. Students in the life skills program planted flower seeds before spring break and soon they will be transplanting those flowers in the ground. Radikin says her students are going to be collaborating with Michael Rate's manufacturing class to build individual flower boxes for the flowers. Then students will be able to give them as Mother Day gifts if they choose to do so. We also have special soil from Miss Bartz upstairs. She brought down special soil that will make our plants grow really well. So it's exciting to see how it's become an inclusionary project within the building. The other plants here are kale plants that Lowe's gave us. And they were almost dying. They were actually dead. They were going to throw them away, and we brought them back to life. So it's been fun to see how you could prune plants and uh, take care of them and see how well they're growing. Switching gears to some sports news, golf season has teed off with the team's first tournament already in the history book. Get in there. Nice spot. Coach Ben Weymouth is back coaching the Pilgrims for another season. He says their schedule is very busy. PTV's Diego Gifford caught up with Coach Weymouth to see what he has to say on how the season is going thus far. Looking forward to this upcoming weekend where we go over to Wawasee. We get to see a new golf course that only the girls in the fall uh, play as their home venue at Wawasee in Max Welton. So we're anxious to see how we, how we compare to some of the Fort Wayne teams that come into that Invitational this weekend and kind of see where we measure up. Uh, we host the regional again this year at Swan Lake in June, so we're looking forward to that. And we've yet to get a, because of COVID last year, uh, we've not gotten a, a team to advance to the regional level for a few seasons. And so that's something that we've kind of put down as a goal that we want to get to uh, towards the end of the season. This past Saturday, the Lady Pilgrim softball team attempted to avenge their defeats this season with a clash between the conference rival, Warsaw. The varsity team battled in broad daylight at the home territory. For the first four innings, Plymouth's defense kept Warsaw at a one-point lead. The lead extended into later innings as Plymouth's offense struggled to keep up. The final score was 10-0 in favor of Warsaw. Tomorrow evening at 5 p.m., the Lady Pilgrims are hosting a conference matchup against the Northwood Panthers. 
The PHS baseball team will be having its annual Tom's Tasty Taters Fish Fry fundraiser this Saturday. The event will be set up in the east parking lot by the football field from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. If you would like to purchase a ticket, reach out to baseball coach Ryan Wolf via email or any member of the baseball team. A large walleye fish sandwich and half an order of the Tasty Taters will run you around 10 bucks. All proceeds will go towards the Plymouth High School baseball program. Throughout the past few weeks, music has been playing in the halls during passing periods. The songs are from playlists submitted by the PHS staff and the students. We sent PTV's Diego Gifford out to find out what some of you have to say about the music. I dislike it all. There's not really much to like. It's um, it's pretty loud. It's really, it's pretty loud. It's really annoying. Um, it's kind of mixed emotions. Like, it makes me feel calmer about walking through the hallways, but then at the same time, it's cringy. Yes, I do. Well, that's a wrap of this week's show. I'm PTV's Tyler Ritchie. Have a great rest of your week. And as always, thank you for your support, PHS.